I grew up in a rural community. I saw a lot of people who needed healthcare. I saw children who were intelligent um, but did not have an opportunity. And what was the reason for that it was because they were poor. Once I got into office, I felt very passionately that we needed to do something about that. to reduce the high maternal and infant mortality rate in the state. The Cross River State Government introduced Project Hope in 2009 as a social safety net program that offers free healthcare services to pregnant women and children under five years in government-run health facilities. Hope covers every aspect of healthcare and the beneficiaries are children under five and pregnant women. When I was under pregnancy, without the free medical the attention because there was lack of money. Even I lost my baby because of that. But the second child, up to this one that I'm holding, I am benefiting. I go to the clinic, they will attend to me, they will give me all the drugs are free. We realized that Cross River State had one of the highest um, maternal mortality rates in the country. Um, and. Um, you know, that just wasn't acceptable. And we also found that uh, the infant mortality rate in Cross River State was also significantly higher than most states in the region. The project is very important because it reduces maternal and infant mortality rates in our state. Anyone that comes to the facility for treatment, we give them free medical care, so free. All our drugs are free. Pregnant women and children under five are more vulnerable that the focus is on them. So it is a question of educating, educating the population, the mothers, the children, the family, that this is accessible and they have to use it because it's going to save their lives and the lives of their children. Project Comfort is a conditional cash transfer to poor households of Cross River origin and residents who've been in Cross River State for 10 years and upwards. Project Comfort is reducing the number of people living in abject poverty in Cross River State, supporting households living on less than 150 naira a day with children of school age, the physically challenged and child-headed households. With conditional cash transfers, Project Comfort helps the poor acquire education, start a trade and meet nutritional needs. I'm happy that the government are helping us to pay some money and I'm now using that money to sell some articles to help myself and send my children to school. We needed to really have government go down to serve the people that needed to be served the most. That really was the essence of, of this Project Hope and, and um, Project Comfort. My brother, my sisters, my friend support me but for now that this thing they are come this payment they are come out i don't disturb anybody because i can take care of myself for now because of this payment i'm in a message in bang they are cool room when we don't win my dear money you you know the way you understand as the government do this and give us this money they have us for our children There is a health center designed for every ward. So please, please, come out and register. Registration is free and available at selected government-run health centers. Register now or phone 0813-671-6445 or 087-464-099 for more information.